Mackie Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. Kate Tespin with the Ogden girls basketball team joining us here tonight. Uh, the Wheeler girls falling earlier tonight in a heck of a ball game, losing 58-55 to to Caminita. Tespin hitting five threes tonight, finishing up the game with 15 points. Kate, appreciate you coming over here and chatting with us tonight. Heck of a ball game. That had to be a fun one to play in. When did you know that, that you were going to have a good shooting night here tonight? Was it in warm-ups or after those first couple that went down in the game? Yeah, you know, in warm-ups, I just kind of felt like I was on it. And then, I mean, my first three, I missed it. But then I was like, you know, I'm not going to let that affect me come back from it. And then I just started going, and I just got a lot of confidence from that. So I think that's what I really knew that tonight was my night. And, it, and the, the fun part for me too was watching, you, you didn't really force anything. Everything was kind of taken as part of the yeah. offense here tonight. Where were you finding your shots in the offense and able to knock down those shots? Um, I think, you know, when we swung the ball a lot, that I felt like I made the extra pass and that's how I got my shots. Um, yeah, another one in transition, that's where a lot of my earlier threes came. So really both those two times. You did have one set there in the first half. You hit a couple, and then you were open a couple of more times the next couple of times. You tried them. How close were those, even though those didn't go in? I call it kind of a heat check. You were seeing them. Yeah. You were just unconscious there for a while. Yeah, yeah. No, those were pretty close, but I, you know, I looked at them, and I was like, well, they'll fall. You know, just got to keep shooting with confidence. That, that's what Coach was telling me, so that's what I was doing. Talk about the defensive effort of this club here tonight. You knew you were going to run into a camp team that really wanted to get the ball inside to Stevenson and to, and to the main Beckham girl tonight. How did you feel like your girls defended them here tonight? You know, I feel like we did pretty well. I mean, they have some height on us. Um, they're six foot and we're, I think, our tallest is 5'11. So, I mean, we knew that we had to front them and have backside help. And then we also had to close out on the shooters on the outside because they're pretty versatile for a team. But I think overall we did a really good job, kind of switched up our de defense a few times and finally found what was kind of flowing and how we can make a stop. Well, I tell you what, great job out here tonight. Uh, congrats on a terrific season so far. I know the playoffs just a week away, so yeah. best of luck. We'll have somebody down there to call that game coming up next Thursday. Thank you. You bet. Kate Tackett joining us here. We're going to get the head coach Darren Miller to slide in here. And we'll let Kate kind of slide on out. We're a little it up in this area here, especially for poor Coach Miller. He's a tall guy to have to duck. That's what he's underneath, folks. I just showed it on the video. You're going to watch later. But Darren, I appreciate you joining us. Uh, a really good effort, I thought, out of the girls tonight. You lose Aaliyah Hermanson in the first half. She tries to come back. Can't go much in the second half. Uh, so, so really kind of one of your two senior leaders on this team out. And you end up losing here on the road to a really good club by three. I think that's a growing point for this team heading into the postseason. A lot of really good things to take away from this game. Yeah, we yes. <laughs> second we talked about at the end of the game was, you know, a lot of good things came from this that, you know, we played well. We hung with them there in the fourth quarter and, you know, uh, everybody <clears throat> everybody stepped up and, you know, we, there, there's one or two things that could have happened. We could have just folded and been like, oh, no, you know, Leah's out. We're going to. Appreciate you guys. And I'm really proud of everyone, each and every one that played. And, and, and uh, they played hard. And, and you, you and I talked a little bit before the game. You told me you were going to go maybe a little 1-3-1, one, one, some 2-3. Uh, how did you feel like your defenses worked tonight? Did you feel like you were able to keep them off balance a little bit? Oh, uh, yeah. No, I think there were spurts that we we, did, we had some good defensive possessions. You know, there was times, <clears throat> you know, they got good posts. So they, had, they had some good high-low action that we were unable to um, reversed or ro rotationally um in place in time, so we got caught there, you know, with the easy buckets from from Stevenson there, who got some easy buckets from it. But overall, I thought we did pretty good. You know, we've done we've done a really nice job, just as of late, defensively. You know, putting hands up and making it hard for teams and playing with what we got and giving the giving the best effort. And I think they did a pretty good job of that tonight. How do you feel like you <laughs> executed offensively? I thought you did a really good job. If you're wanting to come in and shoot the three tonight. You got a lot of open threes tonight. Yeah, we did. You know, we shot eleven. We made eleven threes, yep. and I, you know, I tell the girls, I. And I think every one of us will always say it. If you're open, you got to shoot it and shoot it with confidence. And that's it's the name of the game, right? I just tell them it's like old man ball, man. If you're open, you got to shoot it. If you don't, if you don't shoot it, you're not going to make it. So I think, yeah, if they're open, shoot it. And you know, a lot of the, I think, what I think, uh, Sienna, Kate, I think all four of our guards had threes, and that was pretty good. And so it kept us in the game. You know, in the fourth quarter, we had some big threes there, and had some other girls step up.
caught some breaks late with Cam <clears throat> missing some free throws. Uh, you, yeah. you had eight seconds left. What were you trying to get on that final possession? Well, you knew you were going to face pressure. Yeah, right. We were just trying to get it. We called a timeout there to try to ice her, and she missed, thankfully. And then, you know, just try to get up to court and try to get a quick three, whether it was from whoever was open. You know, kind of one of those situations you got to get down and go and shoot it. So, Coach, yeah. you got IKEA Manning now on Tuesday yes. night to wrap up the regular season, then you're right back into the playoffs coming up on Thursday night. What's the IKEA Manning game mean? That's a little bit of a rivalry game, so it probably means something, but you also got the playoffs just two days after that. Well, I think what's for us is important. That game is to, you know, play well. Uh, we'll know we get hurt. Hopefully we're healthy by then. We'll see what happens yep. to the league. Uh, I think more importantly, you know, obviously we want to win the game, but I think more importantly, I just think kids understand their role. You know, we have kids that uh, she's not going to score, right. but she's going to play defense. She's going to work her butt off. She's going to rebound. She's going to, you know, do all the stuff. And then you got Kennedy who comes in and plays defense too and helps out. And then you got girls who are, you know, shooting the three. If they're open, like I said, they're going to shoot it. And so, you know, that, is, that it helps us uh, overall as a team. And uh, I, think, I think that's it, you know, shooting with confidence. And uh, and I think our defense, you know, we been doing a lot of junk defense, a lot of you know zone defense, and so I think that's been helping us. Well, Coach, appreciate you joining us. Best of luck Tuesday and next week in the playoffs. Yeah, thank you. Head coach Darren Miller again. The Ottoman girls lose here tonight.